Hey guys, it's your girl Secret D with today's Strawberry Letter Response. So I actually um, listened to it this morning, but I was half asleep. So I figured I would wait till I had time to listen to it again to do this letter. I hope this audio does not sound funky because I have my Bluetooth in. But let's see how it goes. Otherwise, I'm going to have to record it over. So the title of the letter is My Best Friend's Marrying a Problem. So this lady writes in, she said that she has a male best friend. She recently got a job in the city that he lives in. So she's happy. Now, she said that her best friend is engaged and his fiance is insecure. So she said that the first time she met this woman, she showed her just that. She said she went to a happy hour with her best friend and his male co-worker to see if she can find a nice guy. And the fiance popped up. She said the fiance gave her like a dry hello and proceeded to stand behind her at the bar. She was sitting next to her best friend. So when her best friend got up to leave, the fiance basically told her that she's the only bestie that her man needs and that their best friend relationship is pretty much a done deal because her, her man, fiance, does not need a best friend. So, and oh, and she said most importantly, definitely not a single one. So she said that now she's annoyed as fuck so she's telling her well even if i wasn't single basically if he wanted to cheat he would cheat but he said it she said it more general tones but i don't have to talk about that so she said after that once the best friend came back she laughed at everything like he was the like funniest person in the world just to piss off his fiance so then he asked her to stop doing that basically stop pissing off his fiance and so she said she stopped because she loves him and she cares about him blah 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 so she said that this woman just has a problem with her she also said that the the fiance doesn't like her sending memes and stuff like that but i guess that's what best friends do right either way she don't like it she said she even started dating a guy she met at the happy hour and her best friend's fiance told the guy to watch her because she came into town to steal her man so she said that's ridiculous because she never ever 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 thought about her best friend in a sexual manner so she wouldn't even go there with with him and so she was like you know what i'm done we need to talk so the fiance says yes let's talk and let's bring my man so both of y'all could talk to me and understand me when I say that this little best friend shit y'all got going is over. It's, it's a done deal. Relationship's over. So she said this pissed her off and so she refused to talk to the fiance after that. So she said that the best friend basically texted her to say, listen, just do whatever she says to keep the peace. So now she's writing in because she doesn't understand why her best friend doesn't understand that his fiance is a walking red flag so she needs advice <sighs> okay so here's the thing obviously she's the only one that cares about the relationship like that the fiance seems like he's okay getting rid of this relationship but i also feel like if she has some kind of boundaries it wouldn't be an issue so i feel like the communication between two best friends is gonna be a certain way but as a friend especially an opposite sex friend you have to know your boundaries like i remember i was dating a guy and we were hanging out at 11 p.m his phone's blowing up and i'm like who's calling you his female best friend so i'm like answer it and he's like no 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 i'm like why don't you answer it because clearly she's calling you at 11 o'clock and at the time i didn't know but he was hiding the fact that he was dating me because he was stringing along his two female best friends another story different day either way he didn't answer the phone and to me that was like okay a little red flaggish because why is she calling you at almost midnight when you got a whole girlfriend but then i found out that she didn't know he had a girlfriend because when she found out he had a girlfriend which is me she unfriended him on social media and she disappeared poof that speaks volumes anyway what i'm saying is when you have a best friend that's opposite sex you need to maintain certain boundaries i don't care if y'all used to be up talking at three o'clock in the morning if they have a, a boyfriend girlfriend whatever you don't need to be with this person after midnight probably after 10 p.m you know what i mean like there's certain lines that you don't cross when someone's in a relationship out of respect for their relationship because my golden rule is you don't do anything to anybody that you wouldn't want them to do you and i sure as hell 
don't want my boyfriend, my man, my fiance hanging out with somebody after midnight or having drinks with somebody that's like he 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 mm -mm. so I get it I get it I don't know if I personally would have gave the disclaimer like I'm the only best friend he needs cause to me that 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 could be a little bit of insecurity because it, it's not like he hid the relationship it seems like she knew about her she probably was just comfortable in the fact that she didn't live close by and now that she moved for this new job it's kind of like okay what the hell are you doing and uh, I don't know like I said I always give people the benefit of the doubt until they give me reason not to so I personally don't think I would have jumped to oh she came here to steal my man but strange things have happened anyway I don't have no advice because honestly I don't feel like this lady is a red flag I feel like I agree, um, Shirley kind of said to just cut your losses and get rid of the relationship. I don't know how long y'all been friends, but clearly he doesn't really value your friendship. Otherwise, he would have had a serious talk with his fiance to kind of make her feel secure in her position and not threatened by yours. And he would have also solidified some type of boundary and some kind of boundary level between you two as respect for his fiance. But the fact that that's his fiance and not his girlfriend not some chick he's dealing with that's about to be his wife so clearly she's gonna come before you it doesn't matter that's his family you just a friend so cut your losses he don't care you care too much the end